Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this super cute sun and moon inspired makeup look. This was a lot of fun for me to make so I hope you like it. If you're new here, hi my name is Yvette and I make stuff <laughs> and sometimes I do makeup videos too like this one. So feel free to subscribe and let's get on with the video! It's warm again today. <clears throat> I am currently in COVID isolation. I have COVID. I've had COVID for a week now. I've been isolating in this room and I am so bored. I feel just about better now, but I'm still testing positive. So I'm still isolating. So I thought I'd film a video today. I was inspired by this top which I've not worn for ages with the sun and the moon on it and I really wanted to try and do some kind of sun inspired look on one eye and moon inspired look on the other one just super colourful and fun and glittery and all that good stuff so yeah, let's go all the pink has washed out on my hair now which is really sad but I'm gonna repink it again maybe I'll do it today what else am I gonna do? <laughs> am I being dumb? I'm being dumb my brain is still a bit COVID tired. So yeah, I have COVID still. It's not been fun. It's been a lot. I know everyone's different when they get COVID. I did everyone has different symptoms, but mine were no joke. Yesterday was the first day where I actually sort of felt like a human being. <laughs> the other few days it was literally just existing and sleeping and that was about it. <laughs> I got my first positive test on Wednesday last week. I felt fine the day before and then I had the worst night's sleep of being absolutely boiling, constantly waking up, a bit disorientated, not really knowing where I was, what time it was. Like when you wake up in the middle of the night with like that brain fog but a million times worse. It got to five, half five in the morning and I just knew I was like this this is this is COVID isn't it that's what that's what this is my head was so sore all like my jaw my neck was all super achy turning my head was super painful it was all achy inside my ears behind my eyes and all my sinuses I felt super nauseous I was sweating disgusting sweating <laughs> too much of me I took a lateral flow and it was positive straight away. Two minutes. Didn't have to wait that long. Two lines. I had to stay in my room as much as possible, which wasn't entirely possible because I'm in this shared accommodation right now, which I'll get into later. I use the bathroom or the shower and things. I do have to go out of my room. And I've been trying to avoid using the kitchen where possible because that's shared too. Yeah, the the first few days were a lot. I basically just tried to be asleep as much as possible to just not be awake and have to deal with all of the symptoms I was feeling. I can't remember the last time I felt so ill. But it got better each day we got there. It took a long time. Like I said, yesterday... Yesterday? Yesterday, which was Sunday. No, today's Tuesday. I can't remember what day it is anymore. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, so Sunday was the first day I sort of felt anywhere near better. I'm still not 100% but definitely much better than I was before because yeah the first few days sucked. The few times I did get up to have a shower it tired me out so much I had to go and have another nap. Just even the washing my hair, like the achiness I had across my back and in my arms, I had to just call it quits I was like nope shower time's over <laughs> i'm too tired <laughs> like physically out of breath yeah my symptoms were no joke i'm still very tired um i don't have very much of an appetite still but otherwise i feel pretty good it's just waiting for the negative lateral flow so that i can leave I'm starting to go a bit crazy <laughs> the accommodation i'm staying in at the moment doesn't have wi-fi and i don't have a lot of mobile data 
So I've basically not been using any Wi-Fi, any internet, no YouTube, no Netflix. Thankfully, I grabbed a couple of DVDs, box sets to watch. So I rewatched all of my favorite anime, Format to Alchemist Brotherhood. And the other day I finished rewatching Avatar because that is also an amazing show. If you've not watched either of those, I don't know what you're doing with yourself. Go watch them. They are so good. <laughs> I've also been playing lots of Animal Crossing. I've got some books and things as well. So yeah, let's talk about this accommodation. So I'm living in some temporary accommodation right now. Basically my rent ran out on my flat where I used to live, but we are unable to move into our new place until uh, next week. Next week? Oh, it is next week! So I had to leave my flat, but I can't move into my new house yet. So I am living in shared accommodation, like uni halls sort of thing, uh, on the site where I work, which is really handy for commuting, but um, there's not a lot of privacy. Also, you don't have your own kitchen and bathroom and things, which is really sad. Especially now that I am isolating. <laughs> Ticked the perfectly worst time to get COVID. <laughs> it's fine. I didn't have anywhere else to go, so thankfully I managed to sort this place out for now. All my plants are here. <laughs> my whole house is worth of plants are in this room. It's a bit of a jungle, but that's how I like it, so it's fine. Eyebrows done. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is yellow and gold purple and blue. I really like the colours in this um, Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette. Let's put some base colours down first. Does anyone else still have one of these? The NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk? Do you remember when everyone on YouTube used to have these? Everybody and their mums is packing around there. It's the only reason I bought mine. Probably also shows how old it is. <laughs> it's just still so good though. I'm just covering the whole lid up to the eyebrow. Let's use King's Landing, which is this big one. One food I've been dreaming about having since I've been in isolation. Cheese and crackers. Some nice grapes. Some nice crackers. Don't have that in my bedroom. <laughs> and I want a bit of an orange. Why is it so neon? I'll take a bit of this brown or orange. Mm. Gonna take a mustard yellow and make it a bit more yellow. I'm gonna take that bright yellow and I'm gonna put it right on the top. I'm starting to get really tired again now. I am physically tired, not sleepy tired. My back's starting to get really achy because I'm sat on the floor. Okay, I think I've saved it. Let's put some orange and that mustard yellow underneath. We put that mustard yellow on the lid. I'm gonna take Winterfell. Part of me wants to go down the top of the nose too, so. I'm gonna put that bright yellow on the inside. I'm gonna take this highlighter and just take the gold part. I'm gonna come back and do the eyeliner, but I'm gonna to switch to the moon side first. I don't want it to just be dark, I want it to be colourful still. Mm, let's start with purple. I also have this Nikki Tutorials palette, which has some really nice shimmery shades in it as well. This blue one, and this white one as well. And I might use 
the blue, light blue shade in the crease. And again, I'm just smushing that all the way out past my eyebrow, up to the eyebrow, and in. That navy blue is really nice though. Let's try it. Just a tiny bit. This is the colour. I really like this colour combination. I don't usually wear blue eyeshadow. Underneath. Now I'm going to take that blue in down the nose again. I love doing these makeup videos. They always just make me so happy to do them. And I was feeling really down today. This should have been my first day of freedom to leave, but because I got another positive test, I couldn't do that. But doing this is cheering me up, and it always does cheer me up. Purple's disappearing. I like the purple. What if I use pink glitter? Yes. And then I'm gonna put some of the white glitter on the top. Like I said, I'm gonna go back in with some eyeliner to help bring it together a bit more. But it looks a bit crazy right now. <laughs> I think I need to make this side a bit bolder. One second. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I put the pink glitter on the lid, the blue glitter in the crease, and the white glitter on the top. I really like this colour combination. I'd like to do a kind of like space look or something. Because all the colours in this palette are amazing. Everyone knows this. These shades were really nice as well. This gold one that I put on the lid over here. Really nice. I sort of want to do some drippy bits down. I'm gonna put some of that mustard yellow. This could just ruin it. Be too much. My too much jean. And then take that gold colour. Oh, you can't even see it. <sighs> oh well, I'll start so I'll finish. <laughs> Eyeliner. I sort of wanted to do some fancy like sun rays and stars and stuff, but my eyeliner is running out. Way too much to do that. <laughs> Don't want to do too much eyeliner and cover up everything I've just done, which I have a tendency to do. If I had a bigger eyeliner collection, I would do a dark blue and a brown or something. Okay, here's where we're at. Trying not to do too much eyeliner. <laughs> it's not really happening though. Pulled it together a little bit, which is good. I sort of want to draw on some little underneath lashes, but I don't trust myself. <laughs> oh, I don't want to ruin it. My eyeliner is just like, like when you press down on the end, nothing comes out because it's so dry. So I can't get a nice point on it. I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take this again with the blue side this time and just put a little bit here. I don't want to distract from this. I'm going to do half and half the nose. Blue and yellow. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> Right, mascara and eyelashes. It's so much more difficult to put mascara on when your eyelashes are covered in glitter. <laughs> now, my go-to lashes are big, but I don't want to cover up everything I've just done. But I also have 
these flutterier ones. I think I'm gonna use these. They're a little bit softer. I don't wanna cover up all of this that I've just done, so. These ones are really easy to put on as well, if you're like me and you don't wear eyelashes too often. These are super old now, this pair of lashes. I've been through some times. <laughs> Too impatient. I must put way too much glue on it. Oh my ass! <laughs> the glue will dry clear, so oh, I am sweating. <laughs> this is hard work. These eyelashes have so much old glue on them. If I were wearing this out, I would definitely have peeled off all that horrible glue, but I'm not going anywhere, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Ugh. 